My name is Bobby Spro, and this song's called Do What You Want. Genre-wise, I see for the longest time I never liked categorizing myself in one thing because I feel like it limits me too much. But if I had to describe it, I've described my genre myself as acoustic feel-good music. But you could call it acoustic pop music, you could call it acoustic singer-songwriter music. But acoustic feel-good is how I've sort of branded it. But I definitely could see myself branching out. Once it's not just me on stage and I have a band behind me, I feel like the possibilities are endless. I'm not sure like what genres I could see myself branching out in, but I definitely want to experiment with other kinds and see what that holds. Really, inspiration-wise, this sort of changed as I've gotten older. When, uh, when I was younger, when I first started writing music, it was all the kind of immature, you know, write songs about girls, so inspiration was whoever I liked at the time or things, silly things like that. But uh, as I've gotten old, uh, older more recently, it's been uh, mostly been inspired by the connection that I have with people just through my music. The people that I've had come up to me, like listen to that have been to a show or listened to a song and tell me like, you know, like what you were singing in this song really resonated with me. Like, that connection was, is what inspires me to keep doing music and writing music and having it surround my entire life, basically. Uh, early on, it was a lot of uh, Creed. I'll get into why they influenced me later, but uh, nowadays with the music that I play now, it's been a lot of John Mayer, Andy Grammer, Gavin DeGraw music, like uh, mainstream, like, I, would call, I don't want to call it pop music, it's not pop music, but like, that alternative, easy listening kind of mainstream music. I love the Windsor music scene. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, I played my first show when I was 15 back in like 2000, 2011 and it's gone through its ups and downs. There's been periods where there hasn't been a lot going on and then there's been periods like with what there are now where there's a lot of people that are trying their hardest to make sure that there's a lot of shows going on or that people who might not know much about the local scene are aware of like just what kind of music Windsor is putting out because some of the music that local artists are putting out in Windsor is some of the, like, the best music I've ever heard and I feel that more people need to be aware of that. Definitely more people need to be aware of the Windsor music scene than I think are, but it's pretty much changed a lot of how I view music now is just from being in this family environment that we all surround ourselves in. Uh, if I had to give advice to young artists, uh, don't be worried about like, not being young enough or people not taking you seriously because of your age. I worried about that so much that I feel like it kind of hindered me back a little bit for the first couple of years that I played downtown. But definitely don't worry about like the what ifs. Just get your feet wet, go out and do it. If you're young, you have plenty of time. You're gonna outlive everybody that's in it right now anyways. Uh, don't be afraid to try new things and like, get out there as fast as you can, really. 